Hey y'all, today we're making royal icing for some sugar cookies. Here's what you'll need. Two cups of sifted powdered sugar, one and a half tablespoons of meringue powder, and half a cup of room temperature water. My daughter loves helping me make this recipe because she gets to choose all the colors we use. We're using the half tablespoon so she can practice measuring. Mix together your dry ingredients and then you'll be ready for your water. I add the water little bits at a time because it's always easier to add more water later than having to sift more powdered sugar. Mix it all together until you get a nice thin consistency. This is a little too thick, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. Now that we have the right consistency, I'll show you how I do the different colors. Unless you need a lot of one color, you only need a couple of scoops for each piping bag. Add your color and mix it together. I like using the gel food coloring because I feel like the color comes out more vibrant. I didn't have any pastry bags, so I'm just using what I've got. Zipper bags. I put the bag into one of my daughter's little cups and it makes it so easy to put the icing in. Be sure to rinse your bowl well before you repeat the same process with all of your other colors. As you zip the bag closed, try and get as much air out as you can. Then do your best to make a little knot. You can use a bread bag twisty or a rubber band if you have it, but I feel like the knot makes it easier to work with. Cut off this little part here and you're ready to go. Look how nice and tight that is. These are all the colors that we ended up with. I've gone ahead and cut off just a very small tip. Start off smaller because you can always make it bigger. Now it's time to let out your creative side. We love making these together. It brings out our silly side with different color combinations. And if we use too much icing or we mix the colors together by accident, we just make up a funny backstory for it. I hope you'll try this recipe with your family. Check out my dairy-free sugar cookie recipe if you wanna see how I did these. They taste so good and you'd never know they were dairy-free. I hope you enjoyed cooking with cariño.